welcome back to another video in this video what i'm actually going to be doing is refurbing these b pillar trims as you can tell mine are in pretty poor condition these tend to just snap off when you take them off so what i actually want to do is instead of buying new ones don't know how much they are they must be about 300 quid i want to fiberglass this bit back on make it stronger this one i've halfway through so it's kind of the intro but i want to make sure it works so the seals that run down here you can't get them separately so i want to be replacing them with some seals that i found on ebay and hopefully fingers crossed that works and then as you can tell i've wrapped this one black and that's gonna finish it off and make it so much better so once i've done with this it will be looking new it will be stronger and it will have brand new seals on there so stay tuned hopefully it works if not you won't see this video i suppose so on this one initially what i've done is replaced the seal all the way down and all the way to the bottom with the same seal and this is a what they call a t piece seal which can't get to zoom so i'll put a a, um, a picture on screen of what that looks like so that's the tp seal which i've put all the way down and then this is the windscreen trim at the top that i'm going to replace uh, mine on the car actually is a little bit bent when i had the windscreen replaced so that's this piece here so i'm gonna be taking that off not in the best condition Okay, that's all fiberglassed, not the prettiest repair, and I shouldn't have wrapped this before I'd done it. I'm going to let that set to dry and do the next trim now. So this is the second trim, as you can tell. Wrapped this a while ago, probably not the best wrap job ever. In fact, it was probably my first one. So as you can see, the seal, this is the uh, standard seal on it. As you go down, you can see it starts breaking up. Don't worry about the wrap job, this is coming back off. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna peel off this wrap and rewrap this piece and then put the seals on. Okay, that's the wrap removed. It's one thing wrapping something, but it's a completely different ball game when you're trying to take it off. That was a bit of a nightmare. So that's now all done. So all I need to do is start taking the seals off. There you see, I'm knackered there. So I'll start taking them off and then I can put the new seals on. No, I won't. I'll wrap it first, then put the seals on. That's what I'll do.
So it looks a lot better down the trim. And then the, the new windscreen trim across the top looks much prettier. So again, this is the other side, T piece all the way up, new trim across the top. And the seal all the way through. So this part of the video, I'm actually going to be fitting the side repeaters from the 370Z. So. So that's the indicator. So I need to figure out a way of wiring it up. So I'll be taking this connector off and putting my own um, spade connectors in. And then I've either got to figure out taking this bracket off putting the indicator and then screwing it back on from the back, whereas I don't think I'll have enough room to do that. So what I'll have to do, I think, is drill the circle and then cut out some rectangular pieces on the wing here so that can uh, that can fit in them. And I think that's the option that I'm going to go with because I don't want to uh, double-side it on. And then I think I need to cut out a bit for the uh, for this piece here so once all that's on it should look better the 350z obviously got a, a badge and then a, a rectangle indicator underneath uh, whereas the 370z is the badge is the indicator a lot better uh, a couple of modifications that i'll have to do to get these to fit but i'm quite confident that i can do it without destroying the car Hello. So I've drilled the hole with the 55mm hole cutter and then I've just sprayed some black paint in there to stop the rust and then I'm going to start cutting out the rectangles and measuring them bits up. So what I've done is um, pushed it into the hole and then that tab there has just made a mark just there in the paint so I know where, where to start cutting just for that tab. So that's the cut in the wing. Probably need some adjustments, but uh, you get the general gist.
and that's pretty much it. Quite happy with that. That was a lot better than the the badge and then the indicator that goes underneath it and uh, really suits these wings quite well. And that's it really. Thanks for uh, tuning in and watching the video. More to come.